we have you know several people back there doing it right yeah. now. And so, what's what's really cool is you could have a couple people on the couch playing. You know, like like we're sitting here, right. and then uh, you know a couple people uh, elsewhere also playing. Um, again, it's it's cross save. So someone like you has uh, Some a lot of hours. <laughs> um, you don't have to start over. You can pick it uh, right where you left off. And if uh, if you want to play, uh, let's say Justin has a PS3 copy or a copy for his PS Vita, you can play. You can play right with him. Um, yeah, that's that actually kind of caught me by surprise too, because like, like like we were talking about, I was predominantly on PS3. Yep. But the upcoming PS4 Pro version, or sorry, PS4 and PS4 Pro <laughs> version, um, yeah, just totally can play with anything. Yeah. So what's the so. what's the disconnect between somebody like Ryan who's played for eighteen thousand hours and someone <laughs> like me who maybe I dipped my toe into it, I played it for a few hours when it first came out, but I'm not as experienced as him. Could I like join a game with him and we'll we'll be able to, to oh. play well together? Yeah. 100%. This game is very accessible to like all players. So you can just button Lost mash your way through, <laughs> or if you want to get really into the tech, uh, there's a lot of depth to the fighting system. Um, plus, all the characters have their very own unique fighting style. So if you want just a you know basic fighter, just go through. All you need to do is you know, smash things. You can do that, or if you want to be uh, very precise in your attacks, there's that elves, uh, long range, short range. It's you know whatever playstyle you want. Nice. And, and I should, I, you know, I, I feel like we we owe it to you know listeners and viewers that maybe didn't play the original Dragon's Crown mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. maybe some people. Um, this was a extremely in depth uh, brawler that was kind of class based because each character, like like Jason yeah. said, had different fighting styles. Room, kind of room to room combat through these branching levels in a high fantasy environment. I mean, it's basically the bread and butter of so many gamers around the world, right? And yes. that is all here in Dragon's Crown Pro. Yep. And, and you know, I think one of the things we'll really appreciate about Dragon's Crown Pro is it has a, uh, a whole new soundtrack uh, recorded with a live, or or live orchestra. So if you know you've, you've been listening to hours and hours of uh, the previous <laughs> game, you'll be able to enjoy some some new music when you start a start a new one for this. So, and what, what kind of an undertaking was it to to uh, orchestrate that soundtrack? Um, so I'm not a conductor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I know sure. that, that, that might <laughs> Jacob, surprise like, some of you. <laughs> let me tell you what. Oh man, when I stepped onto that stage <laughs> <laughs> and the musicians looked up at me, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a jack of all trades. Yeah, I'm a conductor. No, no. I imagine yeah. not so, it's not just something they can flip a switch on. Though, no, no, no not at all. All original recordings. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, I would say so there's that. <laughs> yeah, so there's so there's that. I would say you know, however, they go yeah, from, from composition to playing out all the instruments. I do want to mention for anyone who's new to the series, you actually have multiple paths every time you play through this game. So each uh, area you go to, you can go A or B route, but you can also find secret areas and extra bosses within those routes. So right now we're actually getting to a branch in the story. And we're going to go with A. And I also want to point out that this game had a shockingly addictive uh, kind of loot ranking gold mm -hmm. grind you that you got from going the through these missions, which is essentially what I did <laughs> oh, yeah. and what brought me back so many times. Um, there's just so much to do in each branch <laughs> of each level. And, and I not to mention all the quest fighter, I think. <laughs> And I think that's probably what brought you back so many hours. Too, oh right? yeah, <laughs> completing all the quests because uh, you actually unlock all the gorgeous art by Kamatani as you go through. Every time you complete oh, a quest, man. you get a new splash image that it's all beautiful. And and all those have lore written. Right. For them yeah. Exactly. Well, which is so great. <laughs> Let's talk about the one where she basically like this like this lady boils alive a bunch of. Thieves <laughs> or something. I forgot the <laughs> specifics, but hey, it's great. Uh, it's very disturbing. But hey, good on that lady for doing that, uh, <laughs> all those nasty thieves men. You know, I I, uh, I think the. Those are some of the things that people really love about Vanillaware when they oh, put yeah. that in, into their games. You know, when, when you look at the games that they make, uh, you can realize they see the passion and sort of the uh, the care that they put in towards them. So, <laughs> no, there is no prouder human being on the planet than the fighter riding a giant saber. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, monster, panther? I don't know what that is, but I mean it's saber tooth something. It's, it's on my bucket list. Yeah. I know that before I die, I want to <laughs> ride a giant. You want to wield that full armor. You got to get that armor made first, right? Do you yeah. have that back at the office? Uh, uh, pieces, probably. <laughs> pieces of it, yeah, yeah. We do actually, it's funny, we do have some, some uh, cosplayers in the office. One of them is actually playing the game right now. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> did, did she could probably uh, tell me how I might be able to get that armor. Do any of the characters from this or not? 
I don't know. Uh, oh, no, we're not find out. you have not done any Dragon's Crown cosplay <laughs> <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah, but um, but yeah, we do have we have several cosplayers in the office. I'm sure who could uh, teach me how to maybe make that suit of armor so I could ride the. And tiger. then you come in as the giant saber tooth. That's feet right. <laughs> maybe maybe out. for the next show. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of Halloween costumes, right? So you just have this giant mount, but you know the little bitty legs on the side of your hips. Right, right. <laughs> I don't know. Archer's kind of, you know, that's kind of my thing. Um, the animation is so beautiful. Look I at know. the way the it's boat is kind of tilted. Oh, it's there. ridiculous. Yeah. Justin, do you tell tell our guests about the weird thing I do if with picking a character? I was going to bring that because, up. Because that plays uh, into this game hugely. So, Ryan, this is the first time you ever described this to me. Ryan is a madman, and he has this thing where he will uh, decide what class he wants to play the most, and then he will deny himself of that class until he does everything else. Or if there's a certain type of uh, way to play a game, or if there's a certain uh, experience that he's really looking forward to it, he will save it until the very end when he's done literally everything else there is to do. And he never ends up getting to the thing that he wants to do. That's, so that that really, does happen sometimes. Really big on delayed gratification then. Yeah, I, right? I am big on having something to look forward to. Mm. So when I when I boot up Dragon's Crown, I'm like, oh man, yeah. uh, so, uh, wizard, sorceress, maybe like the Amazon, they all look awesome. I'm going to play the fighter. And I just like <laughs> roll in with the character I would probably not pick first. And then I ended up playing him for like all that time. <laughs> I don't think I ever played another character in oh my entire Dragon's my. County. Oh experience. man, my goodness. Okay, now in some dwarf throwing enemies, man. That's <laughs> Dude, amazing. I know, I know. So after you've done that, have you have you found that all of a sudden you, you really like playing that other character and you never expected it? Yeah, totally. And it also opens me up to things where like I feel like I would normally not either pick a mission, a character, a class in like an RPG, and then I end up really liking it. That's actually why I kind of got uh. into melee and berserker style oh, character yeah. classes because I'm like, when I was a kid, magic user all the way. Yeah, magic like, user all the magic way. Always. You throw that cloak on, yep. you give me Closer that staff, you give me yeah. that floating orb above my hand, <laughs> and I'm good to go. But then throw like a big old battle axe in my hand, I'm like, what the hell is this? What do I do with this? What do I, what do I, <laughs> throw it on the ground, give it to your saber <laughs> tiger monster. Um, anyway, t sorry, we're, we have, there's still a lot of footage here. And also, by the way, there's a ton of really cool little things you can do. Like, for example, you yep. saw the little hand floating above to yeah. in interact with the environment. There's a lot of environmental interaction in this game. Yep. A lot secrets. of secrets to discover, which yep. you have some of the art earlier. Right, yeah. What are some other secrets people have discovered? I mean, that's it. There's a lot of, like I said, a lot of bosses. It's actually part of the cooking mechanic. Yep. Uh, you have to go and hunt these rare monsters just to have ingredients <laughs> so you can make, like, the most powerful <laughs> food. Give yourselves a leg Which up. Which then in the next one. gives you a ranker bonus of something. Right, it also gives right? you stats for the next yeah. uh, next Makes level. Makes it easier to get yeah. better ranks, to get better loot, to go on more hunts. Yeah, one really cool thing your uh, your treasures uh, get better as your adventure goes. But um, there's, you can string your adventures along. You don't have to go to one area, then back to town. You can just keep adventuring. Yep. Uh, you can actually collect uh, a lot of the items that are key to the game in one run if you want to if risk. You're good. Yeah. And you have a little luck on your side, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Do we have any favorites uh, between you guys for characters to play? Oh, man. I put so many hours into Elf and Sorceress. Mm -hmm. uh, elves, oh, man. The tech for Elves is like, they're so in depth. Uh, she can charge her arrows. She's like up close melee. She can do juggles, mm -hmm. uh, stun lock combos. Oh man, she's amazing. Yeah, when, <laughs> I, played, when I was playing, I played as Elf as yeah. well. I just love that the the ranged thing, and she looks so cool with the with the cloak and everything. Like, like oh man, and she looks so cool. So she right. is. She's so cool. <laughs> and we're riding dinos. That's now. what I was gonna say. <laughs> Woo! Riding dino dinos. Riding dinos. What is this? Horizon Zero Dawn over here? Come on. <laughs> um, so, gentlemen, we you know before, before as we get, I think. It's the are we coming up on the boss? Yeah. Is that it? We got the gazer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This guy freaks me out a little bit. I feel like there's nothing scarier than someone covered in eyes. Yes. Right? Correct. Now, I mean, <laughs> picture my face. Now, picture it covered in eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't like that one bit. Um, yeah, so to reiterate, Dragon's Crown Pro, you yep. said it's coming what time? Spring 2018. Spring 2018. Yeah. Pre-orders are up now. People want uh, atlas.com forward slash Dragon's Crown. Yeah. Jacob, it's like you've done this before. <laughs> it's like it's like I have, yeah. yeah. Uh, for, uh, that 4K support on yep. PS4 Pro, yep. which, you know, that, that there is an argument for that 4K TV right there, man. Well, I think the, the uh, most impressive thing here and the, the thing that's actually probably going to get me to go back and uh, pick this up is yeah. the cross-save support with 
the right. PS3 and Vita versions of the game, so I don't feel like I lost that progress that I put into it before. I mean, for for my part, that's a big selling point because you know if I put in a dozen hours, but I didn't, you know necessarily make it all the way, and now yeah. I want to pick up my game, yeah. I don't have to redo everything I've already done. Mm -hmm. I mean, just are, oh, sorry, I didn't no, no, cut I you off. Pick are, it up right where I was. Yeah, yeah. Are you are you able to talk about like what that? that support looks like? Is it as simple as me going to my PS3 game and like uploading or something? Do you know what that's yeah, going to look so like? Yeah, so there's going to be a cross-save option. Okay. And then you just go there, upload it, and you get it on your PS4. Or Even you know. I could do it. Yeah, All <laughs> right. super simple. Uh, before we let you guys yeah. go, do we have any final thoughts or things that you feel like, let's say someone that's never played Dragon's Crown before, what is the thing that is going to get them into this game? Well, one thing I definitely want to make sure I mention is you know, for those who, wh whether you like the Japanese voices or the English voices, this is dual audio in it. So both are there. If you're, if you're in Europe yeah. and you're like, oh, I, I just wish it was in something besides English, you know, well, th there's text in this game. It's going to be localized in French, Italian, German, nice. Spanish. Awesome. You know, we're, we definitely are committed to the European market. We want to make sure that they, uh, they can enjoy these games. Awesome. Look at you guys. That's not easy throwing all the things <laughs> on there. So I mean, it's, um, it's a lot of work. Um, I'll let I'll let your your team beat this boss before we end the set. Yeah. Oh, hopefully we can get some Wham. cooking going on. What's that? Hopefully we get some cooking going okay, on. Okay, wait. If we can get to a cooking segment at the end of this, it, it's random. Treasure so rank. So S. Hopefully we. Uh, nice. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> Are we gonna get? Oh man, let's go. <laughs> Me. And they went to they, work. Uh, they they played this game Continue. for a few hours. Let me <laughs> show me a cooking scene. Uh, no. no? No. All right. Well, we tried. Uh, You'll have to everybody. see it for yourself. It's great. <laughs> yeah. 2018. <laughs> 2018. Uh,